these are the most advanced survival suits that are made. It's uh, mainly used for uh, transportation out to the oil race in North Sea. So you have uh, waterproof outer, and you have a, a liner inside. Uh, this liner is uh, made of buoyant material. It also has heat storing uh, material that cool you down when you're too hot and evidently giving that heat back when, when your own temperature drops. Also you see you have a neoprene seal inside around your hand uh -huh. but then you have the neoprene glove uh, which you close off okay. because that is keeping your hands warm. You have, um, you see it's a black patch on the side of the leg which is uh, elastic which is uh, compressing your legs so they don't fill with air. I'm uh, Avian. I'm working at Heli Hansen. Uh, right now we're in the heart of the Heli Hansen Development Center. This is our lab. Here you have the fabric. And then you have uh, glass paper. And then you have a weight pressing down. And this revolves and revolves for, uh, for several thousand cycles. And we use this, uh, this machine for testing uh, the fabric in both directions. And we got several samples so we can get the average. And uh, something else we can do with this machine is to test the tensile strength. And we also get the elongation in the fabric. How many percent it takes before it breaks. And we also, also test the fabric uh, regarding water tightness before and after washing. So when people are on oil rigs, they're wearing these all the time? <coughs> no, 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 no. When they go from, from the mainland to the oil rig. In the helicopter? In helicopters. They are required to have these on in case of emergencies. Okay. So this is actually a personal sa uh, safety device for offshore workers. So they have it in their cabin in case of emergency. In the, in the helicopter transit mode, the primary uh, concern is actually comfort. When you're flying in the helicopter, it, in, in the summertime it gets very, very warm, even in Norway. And what we have done is that we have a watertight skin and we have put um, intelligent uh, textiles inside the suit to contain the excess heat. The rebreathing system is here because your breathing reflex prohibits you to keep your breath in cold water. It's very good to connect to the body because then you're more uh, visual to the rescue forces. We're attached together because if we were in high waves, uh, we wouldn't be separated. <laughs> Roshid has a little hood here as well, which could go over her face to stop the seagulls from picking out her eyes and to stop the waves from going into her face. Because in high seas, if we're seasick. in high seas, and it's amazing because Heli Hansen lose a lot of the technology on these survival suits in their outdoor gear and in their sailing gear. And we really are quite toasty warm. This is an uh, emergency bacon which is integrated in the suit. The inflatable collar. It lifts your head up and it gives you overview of the situation. When the time is to get on board to the rescue craft, then you just have to... to um, pull out the lifting sling and she is ready to go home.